Hi again, it's me. Um, I have a late afternoon shift today, so I figured I would pop in here real quick. This lighting is horrendous, but it's really bright, so it's a good spot. Um, the holidays are coming up, and I'm just wondering what percentage of you guys are celebrating for secular reasons, uh, religious reasons. Um, myself and my family, we're Protestant Christians. Um, we definitely believe in God. We definitely believe in Jesus. Um, just curious what um, what you guys' background is. How did you grow up? I grew up Baptist, but we left the, well, I left the Baptist church on the um, women can't be preachers grounds. Um, I didn't want to be one, but I just felt like if I was a daughter, if I had a daughter and she said, you know, I think God wants me to be a preacher. Um, I just didn't think it would be up to someone to say, no, you're wrong. That's not God. Um, but I, I get it. You know, I do get why there's a prescription in some churches against women leading men. Um, because I do believe in traditional marriage. My husband is the head of our household. He does lead. Um, uh, but I think modern marriages require some modern communication, you know, and sometimes you have to kind of work together to figure things out. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy to have spent most of our uh, years together as a homemaker and primary caregiver, primary caregiver to our children. Now that they're all in school and not home all day, I do this and I have a part time outside the home job. Um, but it's not my career. It's a job. It's something I enjoy doing part time. My home will always be my primary job. Um, so I'm curious what everybody does for a living. What do you guys um, believe as far as Christmas and faith in Jesus? And, and um, do you believe in high power? Do you believe in God? Do you believe in intelligent design? Uh, do you believe in traditional evolution? Just, I'm, I'm interested. I want to know. Um, one of the more controversial views, I guess, is that God's time is not our time. And um, I believe that science saying that the earth is so many millions of years old or billions of year old, years old doesn't contradict the Bible. Um, one year to God, one year to us could be, you know, like a billion years to him. So we don't know how long his six days and on the seventh day he rested. We don't know how long that actually was in his mind because his mind is so far beyond ours. Um, but aside from religion, um, I am also, um, I kind of don't really have a, a place in the abortion debate because I am absolutely against abortion, um, particularly when it's used for convenience. I don't believe that you should create a life. You, you engage in an act that you know 100% is procreative. Okay, you know that what you're about to engage in, with or without contraception, you know it could create a new human being. At conception, a new human, a new human is created. Okay, I understand how terrifying it is. I was 16. I had sex once and I got pregnant. And um, that unexpected blessing is about to be 31 on Christmas Eve. So I do get it. I've I've been there. Um, and I don't I don't I don't want to talk about the um, exceptions, because there's always going to be an exception to a rule. Um, but the vast majority are done for convenience, and I don't think that that should be legal. I just don't. You know what you're doing when you do it. So that's my hot take, my controversial opinion, and as a woman, I can have that. And you know what? So can men, because they're part of that child, too. Um, secondary. Um, let's see. Any other hot takes I can pull up today. Let's see. Um, I just want to get it all out there. That way, if anybody has a really um, gut reaction against anything I say, they can exit. Um, I, I will have healthy debates. I will talk to you about disagreements, but I will not tolerate um, name calling and personal attacks on someone's character. That's uncalled for. You can disagree and agree to disagree without um, being vulgar and disgusting towards another human being. So, um, let's see what else. I watch a lot of true crime. I'm really interested in the psychology of people who can do insane things. Um, so, um, what kind of stuff do you guys watch for 
entertainment. I'm not saying the crime is entertaining, but I am saying that it is kind of fascinating to try to figure out what makes certain kinds of people tick. So that's kind of why I like true crime. And I also like to remember people who are victims of true crime because I think it's important to tell their story um, so that they will kind of live on out there, you know, and what their life was before the crime is the most important thing about them, not how they died. Um, let's see. Um, mm, what else? There's so many social issues we could talk about. I'm proud to be an American. Yeah, I also fly one on the front of my, our house, our house, yeah. My husband is a combat veteran, so we are very proud of our country. We are terrified of the state of our country right now, um, but I believe that if Americans can stop pretending everything is an affront, stop pretending everything is racist or sexist, and figure out the things that we actually agree on, we could probably get somewhere. Um, I'm definitely conservative. I'm not necessarily uh, what I would say a Republican, but I guess I do fit that a little bit better than the Democrats, which I was until I was about, I'd say right around 9-11. That's when everything changed for me. So I'm kind of horrified and disgusting to hear people applauding um, Bin Laden. That's disgusting. That's absolutely revolting and disgusting. Um, I'm sure I've mentioned I do have four sons. My oldest son's a millennial. The two in the middle are Gen Z and the baby is Generation Alpha. So I do find it kind of fascinating to watch three generations um, around one another. The oldest doesn't live here. He's married, but um, they're very different and they're definitely products of their time periods. So um, I, I'm not really sure where else to take this. I've been on here for seven minutes. So I'm really hoping that I can get you guys engaged in discussing these issues with me. It's okay to disagree. We don't have to agree on everything. Um, but I want to contribute to the discussion that is being had. I'm almost 50 years old. I have some life experience. I have some intelligence. I have some wisdom. Um, I've been super far left, and now I guess most people say I'm super far right. So I can kind of see how somebody gets here, from here to here. I think once you get older and you start paying taxes and you start living and you start experiencing the real world, um, when you have actual crimes committed against you and you have to recover from those, um, when you grow as a person, you realize that something, at least something my grandmother always told me, nothing's free, nothing's ever free. Somebody's paying for it somewhere. So, um, I still think America is as good as it gets on this planet. I don't think there's anywhere greater. And I believe it was Ronald Reagan that said, um, if we lose freedom here, we have nowhere else to go. This is the last stand on earth. And I'm not saying other countries don't have some degree of freedom, but I believe that we can get back to what we once were as a nation. I don't think we all have to be at war. I don't think this always has to be some this against that situation. We used to be able to coexist, okay, but now people are trying to kill each other because of what they look like or what they believe. You can't coexist with people that want to kill you. So um, that's kind of how I feel about the Israel situation right now. Um, Hamas and people like them aren't, they're not going to ever be satisfied with any kind of peace agreement or um, a little chunk. Israel's already cut off little pieces of herself for a long time in the name of a peace that will never come. So they have to do what they're doing to defend their nation because the enemies only want to wipe Israel off the map. They're not looking for peace. You can't coexist with people who want to kill you. So 